Also, I guess I have to like qualify that last video. Girl, come on, knock it off. She wants attention. She's intention whore. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, re crazy res pup. All right. <laughs> She's hyper. She's a puppy. Okay, no, so really, like, I guess when you <laughs> have so many haters <laughs> for no fucking reason at all, just because they're jealous haters and they don't like your light energy. Here, give it to me and I'll throw it. There you go. Then you have to learn to hate, like think like a hater. And that's pretty sad. And it just makes me want to go hide away from everyone. And I'm so over this. I'm so over all this. Anyways. Um, girl, I'm trying to focus. Try to focus, girl. Try to focus. <laughs> She's not going to let me make this video. Um, so anyways, give it to me and I'll throw it. Okay, back to the nunchuck incident. The thing about it is, is that this bartender was just jealous of me over the dog's previous owner. And the story behind it is, is that um, I don't even know how to hurt anyone except for myself and nunchucks. And, um, you know, it was mostly like an arm workout and just to look cool. I would be into learning more on the nunchucks. I haven't had a pair for like, I don't know, three, four years since I moved from that small mining town. It starts with a P and ends with a G. <laughs> Not the last place. You guys can't use it against me. Like pretending like I had some violent nunchuck episode. I didn't even own nunchucks the last place I was. Anyways, um, so the thing about it is this is a story. So it was when Vote Smart was there. And um, this like Filipino kid comes down with me. And like, no, he literally was from the Philippines working for Vote, for Vote Smart. It wasn't just his race. But like he, um, he, you know, we go down just to uh, have friendly smoke, and he whips his he whips his stuff out, and I'm like, oh no, buddy. I mean, I don't know how they do stuff over the Philippines. That's not how it goes in uh, America, and your uh, advance isn't appreciated. So let's go back down to the bar. He didn't want to, and so I grabbed my nunchucks and just did a few, few little, you know, figure eights. And uh, guided him down to the bar with my nunchucks. And then, like, he sat on the front bench. I did, like, a little figure eight in front of his face, not even touching him. And then I flipped them over my shoulder so that I could go in the back and sneak back in the alleyway and go home because I was over it at that point. So I flipped them over my shoulder. They stay flipped over my shoulder the whole time in, I'm in the bar. And I use the bathroom. And then I go to cut out the back door and go down the alley and go to a block and a half down in my house. And then this, um, you know, jealous hater that, you know, happens to know somebody in Big Sky, probably lots of somebody's, um, but like somebody that, you know, I recently had like a total like black magic. There was a, there was black magic spell work being thrown when the dude was there. And so I, you know, I assume it was my twin flame and the word got out at this wedding he went to, but it actually could have been like her as well. Um, and, um, uh, I'm certain cause there was a reading that came out about like, a you know, a musician and I'm not even going to say what kind of musician to give it away, but like that a musician was coming into town and that like a friend of me had talked a bunch of smack and stuff that wasn't true. Um, and I didn't even like listen to it. Like I didn't get it till after the whole thing. But, um, so when I'm, so she's out there smoking and then like, you know, she's, Oh, can you even use those things? So I'm like all the way at the other end of the deck, almost exiting. And I just did like this little demonstration, not touching anyone, not hurting anyone. And then like, she just basically wanted me out of the bar, you know, for like six weeks because the dude that, um, you know, owned the dog that I have, like, was into me. So, and she had a thing for him, too. And so it was, like, total jealousy thing. There was, like, no violence whatsoever. And I, honestly, I was just protecting myself from somebody that had, like, quite literally just sexually harassed me in my own home. Um, and uh, so, yeah, no, I'm not violent. Uh, I've been in one fight in my life in high school um, from the, like, ex-girlfriend of the dude I ended up getting pregnant by my senior year and uh, I didn't start that fight but I sure as hell finished it and it wasn't pretty for that girl <laughs> she got some claws out on my face and uh, and it was done 
and I was like under 18 and that's the only fight I've ever been in in my life. It's the only time I've ever laid a hand on somebody. Um, so yeah, it's so unfortunate that like so many haters have so many stupid false agendas. So you have to like learn to to think like a hater and a criminal these days because that's what our culture has turned into. And it's really disgusting. It's really tough for us that are of light of love and purity and naive, you know, because we don't have these sorts of intentions to live in a world like this. But I guess I'm learning through all these jacked up experiences that come up against me, you know. Another thing about is like I caught her lying about me several times anyways she tried to say I like stole her perfume and I'm like Pfft. like I'd even wear the same perfume you wear like you know like flatter yourself go on you know because it ain't like that and then also like one time like there was a band in town it was actually no it was that this uh, snow, uh ski instructor's son who was a snowboard instructor I think at one time and he had like a huge a bunch of dreads and that like in a big like dread bun on top of his head but he and his friends actually like was talking to me out in front of this bar that's the color white <laughs> oh my god it's so dumb when they're trying to hunt you and get you for anything because you're innocent <laughs> so dumb i hate it i want to get away from everyone i need some space uh uh hey drama anyways so like i ended up going up there with them and um we know we had a hot tub party and she was pissed she was pissed that i was there and so that's when she like created this rumor that i stole her perfume which never freaking happened but i do remember like we got shut down because we were playing musical instruments by the fire and being loud and i was like busted out of the flu and it was just a natural and it was like all like sade like you know because cool like that and she was more jealous she's just a jealous person but anyways, um, you know, I don't have anything against Wiccans per se, but like, you know, I mean, I just have get things against people that work against other people and, and hurt other people and trying to ruin their lives and call CPS on them when like quite literally the only places to eat after 10 PM are the bars. And we went and ordered egg rolls and my daughter was on probation. So she had CPS come to our house. You know, I mean, she's such a like freak like that, you know, I mean, the things that people will do out of jealousy, it's absolutely is saying I don't even understand it you know like I, I was jealous one time in my life because I was breaking up with a 10-year relationship and he was with this like ignorant Alabama girl and like and I didn't even do anything to hurt her um you know she made up shit too when I was starting to have nightmares I like you know I took care of the situation and like you know um made sure that you know I got through it and like was safe and didn't do anything illegal you know, I drove by their house a few times. That was about it, you know. But yeah, I got in a 10 year relationship and got replaced by a dummy. So yeah, it's pretty understandable, but that was like so long ago and that was the full extent of it. So I mean, yeah, no, I get, I get karmics that are jealous, crazy. I get being invested in someone. Like I understand that, you know, but it doesn't give you the right to actually like break the law and do anything illegal. Uh, you know, send people after people, try to destroy somebody's reputation with lies or like hack their devices. I mean, it's just fine or lie about them, you know, talk a bunch of smack about them. But no, it was like there was this reading that like, and it all kind of like made sense when I went to Big Sky and I got hit by um, some spell work there. I brought my Selenite wand, but like, and it was cool until I was seen. And then serious spell work came against me in a big, 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 big way, big, huge way, whatever. Um, I left and it started raining. <laughs> that's how it goes. When you mess with somebody who's connected to the earth, that's how it goes, right? But yeah, anyways, I'm going to defend myself because people have nefarious intent these days. Uh, I can't stand this world. Why is it like this? I want to find a time machine and go back to the 90s and stay there forever. But anyways, oh yeah, back to the Wigan thing. I'm not like, I did have like a playlist on a former YouTube channel that was like, not today Wiccans, but it was basically just because all those ones in that small town 
you know, they did actually, I didn't know at the time because I was naive, but they actually did bully me. Like one time, like on Halloween, um, they, like I got in a car with them and they all like stopped and they were like, oh, you got to get out because we have to get something like behind the seat or whatever. And then they got back in and took off. And I was on crutches then because I just had plantar fasciitis surgery. But like, I didn't realize that at the time I was being like bullied by a town, you know, and this has been happening, you know, since... Well, especially since the Morgellons came out and I knew what it was. And so I knew I was a targeted individual and I started to be targeted more and surveilled more and stuff. And it was actually like when they were putting down, you know, extra power lines and shit. And the computer stuff was up in another level. It's all connected, it seems. Um, but yeah, no, that whole entire, they would like talk, they would like gossip about me and like, you know, whatever just be dicks to me when i was out at the bar and exclude me exclusion is a form of bullying and that was exactly what these bitches did and we you know one of the other bitches in that club like you know tuna harding she was like just like tiny harding that night <laughs> there was a horrible rumor so yeah i can't say i don't feed into it sometimes i looked like an awesome vampire on crutches but um it was a horrible night and um yeah, like they all started being bitches to me. And I remember like looking out of my back bathroom window and seeing like a black figure, you know, like that. And then once she saw me, she went and hid behind the house. So I didn't even know it at the time, but there were like witches literally casting spell work against me back in those days, back in that small mining town that has beautiful gems that are the color blue. <laughs> What can you get away with saying and tell your whole story, your true story, and represent yourself and the fact that you've been very bullied and targeted by people and it's gotten worse since. Um, well, it got really, it started in 2011 now that I can remember. And that was about 2015 that I moved to that town and it got like more intense there around 2016, 2017. Um, and it's just gotten worse and worse each year. This is a messed up world we live in. And then these people like want to try to pretend to represent, you know, they, they want to try to pretend to be positive and, you know, be in affirmations and this and that. But at the same time, they'll tell lies about you that aren't even close to true. And I'm absolutely certain that she spread the rumor because I remember like, you know, I was making jewelry in my home and I was getting child support and I was really sick with mold and then only that had plantar fasciitis issues, you know, and lost my medication because of the Dibble and doctor over here. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I ended up losing my job. I couldn't do it. I was too sick and I was sick in bed because of mold. But like, I remember, you know, it was, and it was after I sang karaoke one night, you know, she just started some jealous rumors of like, how is she making it? She must be selling her body or drugs because how does she have a house? Well, the thing about it is I was way behind in rent and I had really nice landlords that, you know, like were believing that I could catch up and I would have had the child support not been cut off and because the dad cut off the child support. That's the reason my daughter did not graduate from high school. Just so you know, because you had to be greedy and take an extra vacation that year while we were really, really struggling. And I was, in, I was sick in bed with mold allergies and stuff. And so anyways, that's just the extent of it. And people like to tell lies. So no, I had it after that whole thing. And after all those incidences went down, you know, and she lived up there, big sky, like I knew exactly like just, and I didn't even listen to that reading, but I remembered seeing the title and I remember the whole event happening. And it was about, uh, a musician coming to town and about a jealous lying friend of me. And it all came together after it. So I don't like to be suspicious of people. It's just after these jacked up experiences happen, then they confirm the messages that were put out and then it finally clicks because I don't like to think of people in that way. I like to actually think people are good people and think the best of people. And I like wish that people were like that, you know, but it's like after the screwed up situations happen, I have to like face the reality of the fact that like most people are assholes these days. And there are very few people that actually operate out of a place of love and light and don't harbor the spirit of jealousy, which I think is one of the worst ones, one of the most dangerous ones and one that causes both sexes, but primarily women of Jezebel spirits to um, be dicks and uh, you know, lie jealousy is a bad thing i think that even like jealousy can cause <clears throat> karmics to even go beyond just lying and actually 
be physically violent and actually to get people after other people that they're jealous of. And it's really messed up. So I hope it stops.